What's good, bro? Do not call me, bro. I am not your brother. Now, if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor, could you rate yourself on a scale from one to ten? Well, last time I talked to my therapist, she said to be realistic. Well, I think Set. she left you a clue in there. She said to be realistic. So I think she left you a little clue in there that you might want to go ahead and take heed to. So if you might, if you um don't mind repeating yourself, what was that rating again? Because I don't think I heard you correctly. It was a two. Let's go with your height and weight. I'm 5'11", That's 295 not. pounds. Just, what the f***? What the f*** did you just say? 295. Stand up. Uh, yeah, damn, nigga! I don't think these are, look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass milkers. I don't do none of that shit. I be robbing. I just be cabbing. I just be robbing. I don't want to smoke with them. Soul, I ain't in the street. I don't get angry. I ain't got out. Stop talking to have it. I ain't no drug lord. Never seen a brick. No bus open them. Packers. I don't do no crime. No lie to be real with I don't sell drugs, to be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling sea moss That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Alright, so now, we're gonna go ahead and get this started Straight food you meet on that chair Wow Well, here we go Let me, um Get myself over here Take myself off and put myself right over here. Now, we're going to start off with a uh, glizzy fanatic. Let's hope he's, uh, he's on. Glizzy fanatic. Are you here? If you can get on screen, I'd appreciate that. What's good, bro? Do not call me, bro. I am not your brother. Let's get that very clear. All right. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and. Start. I mean, I mean, listen. I mean, you you talking Don't about? Don't get over and talk me. What the f is wrong with you? What the? F Can I talk? No, you can't fucking talk. What the hell's wrong with you, man? I didn't give you permission to talk. To fucking blacks, man. What the fuck? I see why they segregators are. What the fuck is in school? What the fuck. Okay. Let's go ahead and start off with your name. What's your name? My name's Sadiq. You suck a you suck the deek? What did what did you do? Yo, chill, yo, chill, 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 chill. It's an Arabic name, you know what I'm saying? Sadiq. Yeah, you look like one of those. I can I can see that being your name. I can smell Yeah, Myra's my cousin, in case you didn't know, but yeah. Myron is your cousin. Yeah. No, he's not my cousin. We just You are not related to anyone of high value. Let's get that very clear. I mean, you doing that? You got no pants. You free balling, talking about your high value. You got on. You here. walked back there. You got on. We here. all saw you with free balling, my nigga. You got on here in a Jordache Walmart hoodie, and you got the nerve to talk about value. Nigga, I got this is twenty bucks, bro. Shit. Yeah, Jordache Walmart hoodie. You watched that twice in six months. I wash it every day. Yet you're talking about value. There's nothing in your house that you wash every day, not even yourself. Can you please not do that? That's not what we're here to do. We're not here to lie. All right, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, you're sorry. I'm sorry for your existence. I'm sorry your mother had to had to bear nine months of pregnancy to push you out. Just look at yourself. All right. So, Suck Deke, let's go ahead and start off with this. All right. What's your height and your weight? 5'10", 190. You're a fat mother. You're lying. I can see the fat in your face. You're lying. You're not 190 pounds. I'm 190. 192 to be exact, but yeah. A dress size? I'm not a woman. What the fuck is this, Kevin Samuels? <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, so I want to start off with uh, what would you rate yourself on a scale from 1 to 10? I'm a 10. There's not a single motherfucker here that would ever 
rate you a 10. Let's not, let, let's, let's. I'm let's, a 10, bro, listen. Okay, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to snap back to reality. Oh, there goes rabbity. Oh, yeah, we're going to snap back to reality right look, now. Look. So what would you really rate yourself on a, on a scale from one to, one to 10? Seven, you can't use seven. Why can I not be a 10? Bro, if what these the women are here saying a 10, 10, have you not looked at yourself? You're looking at yourself right now on the camera. You're asking me what makes you not a 10. Are we really gonna I mean, do just this? Because my, just because my skin is fucked up do, does not mean I can't be a 10. Because my skin, your speech is fucked up too. Learn, yeah, let the words come out your mouth, bro. You don't fucking stutter. You're not an MMA fan. As all right, awesome, real shit. All right, awesome, real shit. Awesome, real shit. Okay, okay. I'm a four. I, I'm a three. I'm a three to be exact. Now we're getting, now we're getting somewhere. All right. What is it that you think that you can do to improve your looks? Um, uh, skincare. I'll go ahead. I'm uh, working out. I got, I got you. Absolutely nothing. So Dick D's nuts there. looking like a Somali. Yeah. So I have no potential. Phillips worst None whatsoever. Where um so so you got on my stream. W what's going on in your life right now? Are you struggling with anything? What's going on, man? Yeah. Uh, what are you? Struggling a lot, with? bro. Go ahead. Let me know. Like like give me an example. Like what do you mean? Like what am I struggling with? Like what financially and all that. Yeah. Everything. Like financially. Let's, here. Let's start off with financially. What are you struggling with, man? Like I'm not I'm not where I'm at right. Like I'm not where I want to be at financially. But you're on a Twitch stream. You're you're on a Twitch stream analyzing cocks. When I do that, when have I analyzed cock on your stream? What, like, what are you talking about? You've been on these streams, telling us about a whole bunch of porn stars' dicks. You've been able to name the length. You've been able to tell us the lengths, the girth size, uh, the color, if it's curved. Yeah, I think you're confused. I think you're confusing me with MMA fan or um or cousin. So I don't confuse people. Let's get that very clear. I don't confuse people. I know exactly who you are. You're the guy who keeps coming on here analyzing penises. And you also said that Brandon Carter, which is a colleague of mine, you also said that he, you know that he must be packing a large penis. Is that I the reason why you say these things in a chat? Do you have a father? Let's start there. Do you have a father? Cause nah, I, that nigga died on, he, he died when I was like five. Okay. Yeah. I would say rest in peace, but <clears throat> what's the point of that when um we know where he's at? Yeah. You won't, you, he, he probably checked out himself. He probably checked out himself to make sure he got away from someone like you. The thing is, I would have hate to have raised you myself, so I would have checked out also. So, you know, congrats to him. Not rest in peace. Congrats. He got himself out before he could raise someone like you. I need that nigga, but, you know, he just... That he didn't want to see me, you know what I'm saying? The fact that you call yeah. your father a nigga. Let's Is he not a nigga? He, he's black. You? What are you talking about? Is he not a nigga? Do you see the color of my skin? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not a nigga. You, uh, I don't know if... I'm it starts with a value, D, ends with an A. I'm a high-value individual. High-value gorilla. Low-value gorilla. Not a high-value. Low-value. Yeah, that's what you is, man. I mean, you're the same guy that like talks That's about knocking down is. That's linemen. Is. Like, I mean, listen, you will knock down anything that's moving, especially if it's fat. Like, yeah. Your mother has never been in my line of sight, and Lord knows that she's fat. How do you know that? I mean, just look at you. She had to pass down those those genetics. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I can't. I can't even lie about that. Yeah. But now, on, on a serious on, on a serious note, though, like this whole dick analyzing shit, it's just I I did not expect for you to remember these things. I just thought, like you know, well, I would not, or not remember you, a guy coming in my chat and constantly analyzing penises. No, it's just for DC to have a laugh. That's all it is. I never expected you know all y'all to remember that so, I so analyzed shit. So your father, who chose to check out early, what do you think that he would have to say about this? I ain't gonna lie, he probably disappointed. He probably disappointed in his grave right now. I can't even lie to you. What does your mother even have to say about this? I could call, um, her. I could call her right now, but I'm not even going to... Didn't want to put that information out there that I knew her number. I, uh, you know, we're not even going to talk about that right now. I think she's... Uh, I had to see her in a minute um, because I got kicked out of shit, but uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so you got kicked out, so you're living in your car. Yeah. It's not even a car. It's a van. Cargo van. So you kidnap kids. <laughs> Your child, right? I mean, I mean, it was cheap as fuck. I mean, this is the only shot I can afford. You know what I'm saying? I got it for a twelve hundred. So, yeah, okay, it's good. And that's Big man, uh, from so point that's A to point B. You're in life. You're on. You're you're inside of your van, watching a Twitch streamer and analyzing penises.
No, so listen, the like reason why I go on your, no, hear me out, hear me out. The reason why I go on your streams is How to like you gain hear me out? Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. God damn, you really don't know to stop over fucking talking to me. You know what? <clears throat> you got one more time. You just got one more time. One more time. All, All right. right. Now go ahead. Now go ahead. You can speak. All right. So I want to ask you. So I don't know if you remember, but like I think two months ago before you left Twitch, I, uh, I, I spoke to you about, you know, going to sleep every night without, you know, stroking my shit. Cause you know, I, I just, it's hard for me to go to sleep without stroking it. But then I think, um, you told me about it and, uh, you, I went two weeks without it. Why do and you then, talk like you're lagging? The thing is, I can understand why you don't get women. You have to beat your little ass dick. The thing is, when you're talking, do you not see how you're talking? You're talking like you're lagging. You're like this while you talk. Why the fuck do you talk? No, I'm not. I'm talking like a normal individual. Really you're talking, talking like this. Why the fuck do you talk like that? Never in my life would I talk like that. Never would a woman be receptive to that. Why the hell would they want to listen to someone like you? Imagine you about to kiss a bitch and you... Like, because you kind of look retarded when you do it. The whole time I've been trying not to tell you this. Are you autistic? No, I'm not. Do I look autistic to you? Yes, I am autistic when you do it. Yes. Do I look autistic to you? Y you do. You do. You're on some type of spectrum. And that spectrum may involve a few penises. But you're on, you are on that spectrum. So, okay. continue what you were saying. So, basically, I just, um, I need to ask you about, you know, how, how to go on OFAB without, you know, failing every single time. Get you some pussy. Oh, never mind. That's impossible. The thing is, well, you, and then you, you spent your last bit of money, um, on your current, uh, living situation. So, uh, yeah, um, how would you do this? I would... Venture to say, just stop beating that little ass dick. Like I said, just just look down at it right now. This is what I want you to do while we're on the stream. Just go ahead and look down at it right now. Pull it out. I know it stinks down there, too, because, you know, where are you from? I know I'm packing more than you. Where are you from again? <clears throat> Ohio. Uh, no. Uh, uh, what did you say earlier? What is your ethnicity? Sudanese. So go ahead and look down there right now. I know it must smell crazy in there. Go ahead and look down. I know it does. I know it does. Just smell it. The thing is, that should get you to I don't want right to get now. you banned. You're sitting, I don't inside, get you you're sitting inside your sauna of a of a house right now. Look down at that little ass penis and smell it. I'm not doing that, man. Just take a sniff. I, I ain't gonna do that. No. Okay. I heard you. <laughs> Alright. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> a little cough there. Sorry, Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, so if you really do want to stop beating your dick, what are you beating your dick to? Oh, see. Um, another, another dick. Um, listen, listen. <clears throat> Let me um clear my voice. I mean, yeah, like, what do you want? Dicks out your throat. <clears throat> All right, so, Mister. <laughs> uh, Chris Strokes, Mister. <laughs> Uh, Chris Strokes, so Mr. Marcus. So you beat off to men. <laughs> no, I don't. I know. I don't. I don't. I just. I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm the type of nigga to find the right dick. Pause. No homo. I can tell. I can. No tell. Homo. It's not gay though. Well, you've analyzed penis. Cause like, are you no, penis, I don't analyze are you a penis. penis. Analyst? Are you like a penis analyst or anything? Is that your job? No, no. What, where do you work at? I do security. Wendy's ain't never had security. Where do you work at? Now this nigga some. No, I do security. Like, like. Yeah. Security for what? It's like warehouses, um, CVS, <laughs> like so, pharmacies. So you're a freelance uh, security guard. Basically, yeah. Like where, wherever my site, freelance security guard. No, like wherever my site sends it, uh, sends me to, that's where I do security at. So yeah. Your site. Yeah. Pornhub. Because the thing is, me. you spend most of your time watching dicks. So how do you have no, time to get on a site and figure out your next job site? Before I go to sleep is when I do it. So before you go to sleep, you have dick on your mind. I don't have dick on my mind. I have pussy on my mind. But it just has to be the right dick. The right dick. That's not like gay, though. That's not gay. It's pretty gay if you ask me. No, because listen. Gonna, I, so I'm going to go ahead. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and look at the chat really quick. Um, Guys, do you think that what he's saying is gay? The fact that whenever he goes to sleep, the first thing he thinks is, man, I can't wait to find the right penis of the night. 
I want you to take a look at the chat. Oh, never mind. You can't because you're inside of your uh, predator vein. And you can't look at the chat at the same time as when you're on here. Oh, could not, oh hear me out. This is what you confused me with, all right? Why is DSG saying that I'm gay for looking at dicks, but yeah, you got a nigga like Jizzle talking about he had chopsticks up the ass. Guzzle talking about how he wants to get pegged. You got grown men talking about they want to get their booty hole played with. But when I talk about dicks, it's a problem. Okay, so I'm going to explain this to you. Guzzle will say this in front of his girlfriend. The girlfriend that, you know, a girlfriend. I know, you, I know you're not familiar that with what a girlfriend is. That I know you, them, shut the fuck up! I know you're not familiar with what a girlfriend is. But a girlfriend is a companion of the opposite sex. Um, so what Guzzle does is he comes inside of a chat and he says things. He doesn't mean any of those things. He says those right in front of his girlfriend. Jizzle, yes, he did have chopsticks in his ass. She dug those shits deep into him. But if you didn't notice what I just said, she dug those straight into him. So Guzzle, although he may say gay things in the chat, he is in front of a woman. And although Jizzle had chopsticks in his ass, a woman did it. MMA fan got fucked in the ass. I don't. I, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know because I, I don't. He say he got pegged, and that nigga, like he be on. He be on that side of the rainbow with it. So I don't know if he. I don't. I don't know if it was about a real one or not. If it was about a fake one, he got fucked by a fake dick. You know what I'm saying? If if it was yeah, that woman if tried it was one to catch a fly in his ass. Type ones, and it's like, hey, bro, that's a little questionable. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I ain't gonna stop nigga from knowing what he's doing in Thailand, you feel me? But you, on the other hand, you think right before you go to sleep, man, I can't wait to find a dick. Like, that's the first thing you're thinking, a dick. And the thing is, do you scroll through, like, okay, so what website do you use? I gotta know this. What website do you use? Uh, X videos, X, uh, X and XX, Red so you, Tube, so you, so you get to see uh, Spark the Bang. So you get to see the previews, correct? Yeah. So, so you're scrolling through, and not only are you looking for this woman, like I just told you, if you're looking for pussy, you can easily just find pussy. Hey, there's plenty of women playing with their pussies and everything like that, but guess what you do when you get on there? You get on there, and you look at that preview, ah, that dick's not right. Well, that's not big enough. And I wonder if he made her do that with his dick, and the only thing you're thinking about is that man and his dick. That right there should deter you from porn right there. That should be enough right there to deter you from watching porn. It was fake Yet and actual woman, to... smiley face. So, this MF stroking to dicks. MMA Rainbow. fan just said that it was fake and he got fucked in the ass by an actual woman. He didn't explain the length of that penis because that's going to that's gonna be what, what actually makes it extra gay. He could have got a thumb in his ass. But for all we know, he got like... Because like, girls be having all types of dildos. Like, What if he got like the one like this, like a fist or some shit? Like, bro, what if he got like one of the alien tentacles? I don't know what he got fucked by. So... You know what I'm saying? He, he has to justify that. But you. Oh, I'm glad you. Can I say something? Yeah, keep doing that. You, you, you're you more than welcome to speak. All right. Aren't you the same guy that said that if a nigga gets pegged, it doesn't matter if it's by a man or a woman, mm -hmm. you're gay? I did. You said that. They came up straight out the horse mouth. Yo, well, tell me if you heard when I said this. How do I kick this nigga? Oh, bro, I, I ended the call. I tried to kick you. Okay, now tell me if you heard when I said that. All right, there we go. I didn't know how to kick them. Okay, so now I know how to kick you, niggas. All right. Now I know how to kick y'all. All right. Now let's go to the next person up in here. All right. Um, it looks like your name is, uh, Jizzle G. Can you get on camera, please? Five. I do a can. Okay. What the fuck kind of magic was that? It went from a chair to you. How the hell did it do that? Mr. Samuels, pleasure wow. to meet you. Well, so I can have you a hear serious me? question. I sure what can, sir. That's very good. The best because I would hate for you to interrupt to me while I'm speaking. Okay. And like so, a high value <clears throat> man. what's your name? My name is Jizzle G. Jizzle? Yes. Yeah, that sounds pretty black to me. Fits. Uh, I tend to make a drizzle. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. What, what are you drizzling? 
Hopefully well, more than the pennies okay. that people are throwing at me in my chat. Uh, well, you know, I tend to get drizzled on, but that's neither here nor there. Wow. So we just had a guy who uh, specializes in p penis analysis, and now we have you getting drizzled on. Tends to be the case. Okay. Okay. I'm just making sure I know who I'm speaking to here. All right. So, um, a jizzle. G. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and start off with this. All right. <clears throat> Height and weight. Five six. Woo. Two sixty. Midget. Okay. Oh, I got titties under. I got titties under the sweater. Dress size. I don't wear. I like to free ball. I only wear drawers. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Now, if you wouldn't mind doing me a favor, could you rate yourself on a scale from one to ten? Well. Last time I talked to my therapist, she said to be realistic. Okay. Well, I think Set. she left you a clue in there. She said to be realistic. So I think she left you a little clue in there that you might want to go ahead and take heed to. So if you might, if you um don't mind repeating yourself, what was that rating again? Because I don't think I heard you correctly. It was a two. Thank you. Okay. I just had to make sure we're on the same page here. Is there a reason why you took your glasses off? <clears throat> Do you, do you have your glasses on when you're at the massage parlor getting chopsticks in your ass? Oh, no. I need to see the chopsticks go in my ass in HD while I'm watching my dangle legs swing. I'll be looking underneath. If you wouldn't mind, could you explain to us how did I actually feel having chopsticks in your ass? And uh, what what brought that up? Like, how was that conversation? How do you how do you come up with the conversation, like, getting chopsticks in your ass? Did he speak to you about it? Like, could you just run us through this this, this process? Yeah, I'll make it a, a, a quick plane land here. Um... It was a day and it was my favorite masseuse. And, you know, she said, massage, yeah? And I say, yeah, massage. You know what I'm saying? She was talking to Yoda, I was talking to Nick. Next minute you know, it's hot oils, you know what I'm saying? She she touching my thighs and then she say, bend over. And so of course I- to listen. Absolutely. I knew where this was going. Fun hole was activated. Wow. Uh, I was relaxed. I was relaxed. Uh, my gooch was properly greased. And, you know, basically my gooch was like a ski slope. Wow. I was ready. For, I was ready for action. Well, next minute, you know, I seen the chopsticks on the dresser. And I asked her, can I have the chopsticks? I don't know why. I so wanted you, the chopsticks. You asked, you asked for this. Yeah. So I this said, wasn't presented me. to you. This was just there, and you thought to yourself, "You know what? Today's the day I'm gonna." Well, I asked, the, I asked this, I asked to see the chopsticks, and she gave me the chopsticks, and I'm just sitting there, you know, while she's, you know, pretty much write my name in cursive on my asshole, and I'm just sitting there with the chopsticks. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, you were okay. Okay, it's an emotional time. Um so there I was sitting there. <clears throat> there I was, bent over, chopsticks in the air like this, like a Packers game, waving the thumb, the finger. My allergies just... It's all right. It's all right. It's something in the air here, too. I got you. Okay. Next minute, you know, she rubs her head across my arms, and she grabs the chopsticks. Yes. Mind you, I'm a little uncomfortable because my back looks like the Arch of St. Louis right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> it's just... <clears throat> Maybe I need to... Take some flow <clears throat> All right. Yes. Yeah, man. Honestly, totally. <sighs> and and at that particular time, as she's reaching over the St. Louis arch, she grabs the chopsticks. She say, we have fun. I didn't question it. Yes. I just said, okay, I let her take the wheel. Um, She started, you know, circling the outer perimeter. You know what I'm saying? And all I was imagining was water circle in a toilet. That's the best way I could put it in motion. Okay. 
she was touching nerves with the chopsticks and you know she had a thumb on my you know my testes and she was doing her thing it was magical i've never seen a woman do so much with one hand while she was circling the drain of my my anus with the chopsticks and next minute you know you know what i'm saying got a blast and these are and these are wimp, these are wooden chopsticks yeah you didn't get a splinter or anything you didn't you weren't scared that's the one thing I was worried about, but again, it was a case where she said relax, and what she's, you know, what she said relax. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not. I know what you do, and I know you can help me, so I'll just tell you. You're she not a said, quitter, are you? No, probably, but not this time. When she said relax, you know, I just turned into Ruby Rose with the arch, and I just let her do her thing. Okay. Wow. Must have been a um, humbling experience, huh? Yeah. And that led me that led me to you, sir. Did that uh make you feel like a man? You know, it made me feel jolly and it wasn't Christmas. Cause I was gonna say you're not a man. Well not a man of high value at least. We gotta start there. Okay. We have to. We have to. Okay. Because I know um you have some issues going on in your life or else you wouldn't be here. So if you don't if you wouldn't mind enlightening me, why are you here? What's going on? What you got for me? I'm obsessed with my Gooch. I am dealing with, you know, trying to level up and become more high value. Um, I'm trying to leave some of the lower value um, um, activities, you know, like a uh, perfect example. Um, very embarrassing moment when I got my prostate play with the first the time I shit. Wax on wax off until you blast it off. I'm highly ashamed of who I am and what I've become. So since you've experimented with things in your ass, um, that power pole that's behind you, have you experimented with that? I have not. Do you think you could fit the G in there? You think that G could hit your G spot? <laughs> at this particular time it's 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 not a route you know what i'm saying that you're not willing to take it that I, far I like huh? to go. yeah it's a little far no i think i think i've taken it far enough yeah, yeah chopsticks that uh that, that's a lot right there there's no way in hell i'd have chopsticks in my ass i don't think i'm gonna have anything in my ass um I just don't think it's a place IT that I want to go. I hit mine, I think. But as far as um, <clears throat> you building value for yourself, I hear that you're a trainer now. How's that working? Yeah. Out? Well, um, I've, I've have I'm still studying to take my exam, but I have some pro bono. Just one. I'm sorry. I'm just going off of uh, your, your name being Jizzle and you being black. You know, it's your kind. They just don't tend to pass these types. Of it's okay. It, it it it's okay. Um. You know, I've been told by many a woman that I keep the block busting like an old block savage. Mm -hmm. But you're still going to fail that test. So back to the test. Okay. Uh, that's in August. Okay. Um, right right now, I've been working with a couple um, free clients um, for resume building as I try to, you know what I'm saying, become, you know, maybe, a, you know, more more valuable to my community. Your community, the um, L... Well, you got the G back there. Uh, do you have any other any other letters to go along with that? <clears throat> yeah, you must. You must. Yeah, um, probably put those in your in your uh, lawn like picket signs. And just L G B for the Pride Month. You could do it for Pride Month. I know you can. Weren't you gonna wear a romper? If I'm not mistaken, I remember it was this one guy named Daquan Wilshire that was streaming, and you said you were gonna wear a romper during Pride Month. What possessed you to say something like that in, um, in that guy's stream? <clears throat> well, um, I wanted to be thick for the summer. You know, I wanted to be ready. You know, I wanted to be androgynous. Um, I wanted to attract a, a, a certain type of, um, as they will call it, freak monster woman. Oh. You know, and because that's what... Well, preferably without one, you know what I'm saying? You know, I I will prefer it, you know. You know, we tend to like them, sis, you know, so. 
you know, personal, you know, preferences. Love all people. That's Love all people. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I, well, I understand. So, so I just say it like this: uh, with what you got going on, you know, keep training yourself first because obviously you're out of shape. I can tell. Okay. You know, you, you don't really work on yourself, but so much. I would, I would suggest you do that before you try training anyone else. If I looked at you, I wouldn't think that you are a personal trainer. I would think that you are. <laughs> I, I can't say the word that I want to say. It does start with an N and end with an R. Get me up there, Unc. Um, I would say Let it, me show you how much not, I love I'm, you. I don't. I just wouldn't want to influence others to say this. So, okay. yeah. Um, okay. I, just work on yourself, and you'll be able to get... You, you, I think I can see you going places in life. Thank just you. don't go Thank back you. to that massage parlor. Just not, Thank you. Not there. Thank you. I um, think you ended I'm, your journey there as far as chopsticks in your ass. Or maybe it just be good. But you know what? You're right. I am going to take the opportunity to not only um, take into consideration what you are saying, but I'm, I'm going to apply um, this advice because I know your advice is real because our foreheads match. Very true. Now, the thing is, if you want to take anything into consideration, as long as you don't take anything into your asshole anymore, definitely chopsticks. Stay away from the chopsticks. Um, I think we're going to get to the next caller. Maybe someone I can help out. All right. Um, may I leave some um, parting words, please? You can, because I'm not speaking. Yes, I, I will. I don't mind. Okay. Um, to all of the callers and everyone, um, I would just like to say this. One day, 2016, I came across some content. Guy was in a do-rag. He was... Uh, making some pretty goddamn outlandish content but it was some of the funniest most organic content i ever seen in my life i might want to check from it out. from there his name was daquan wilshire from there i watched his content and it was dope five years later he started streaming on the platform known as twitch i didn't know a damn thing about twitch but i decide i've been watching his content i'm gonna go watch it and support just so I could just add another viewer on his journey to wherever he's getting to. He probably didn't need you, but go ahead and continue. Absolutely. Under, understandable. Yeah. We're talking high value people here. Very true. And then from there, the streams, the community, it was unlike anything I ever experienced. And it was cultivated by this one individual. You did have chopsticks in your ass. So I wouldn't say it's not like anything you've ever experienced. Well, yeah, because I did get to know what it was like to be a 7-Eleven hot dog or a corn dog, if you consider the chopsticks. Like you street know. corn. Or street taco, because I had the meat back there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know. So, watching this gentleman, you know, being a part of this community, uh, the community that he cultivated, um, it actually led to him one day calling me, telling me, Jizzle, you need to stream. I thought to myself, what the hell would I be doing streaming and for why? Who I'm not trying to talk to people. But he said, if you do it, if you don't do it, we ain't friends no more. Because I refuse to watch you waste your life. You can't waste this. So I just said, all right. Didn't know where to start, but I just started. From there, that friend who pulled me out of obscurity changed my life. Sounds Since like then... Guy. Yes. Since then, I've um, met some amazing people. I've had some amazing experiences. And you would think it would stop there. But in my personal training, in my journey with fitness, just working out, trying not to be a gelatinous fuck, he improved in his journey and imparted a lot of game and wisdom. Wisdom in which allowed me to change from a career that was mentally, physically exhausting to something I wake up doing love doing every single day so what i would like to say is happy birthday thank you and here's to more years of life wisdom and guidance and thank you for being a friend i'll relay the message happy. to him i i'm actually pretty yeah. close with him i'll relay that happy. message to him that actually sounded pretty good it's nice uh, sure how long did it take him. you to think that up happy birthday 
Um, I don't know. I feel like our foreheads are on a match your wavelength. So did you did you just yeah. did you did you just conjure that up? Because it, it it did sound like shit. The thing is, if I were to say something like that, I would never have drawn that out for so fucking long. I was sitting there thinking the whole time he's gonna shut the fuck up. He he's he got to get to the point. At some given moment, he's gonna shut the fuck up. But you just didn't. You just kept going. So, but I do understand. You know, you wanted to uh, you wanted to tell him how much you appreciate him. I hope he feels the same about you. He probably doesn't think that much of you. I'm just gonna be honest. He does. He, I know he. I know him. I have met him a few times, and um, he, yeah. he, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. He well, I was doesn't. always, I was always told, um, whenever somebody believes in you, when you have nothing to offer them, you always take the time, even if you're not putting money in their pocket, to tell them thank you, and always take the time to listen. He doesn't because... believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just told me that. He just told me that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but nonetheless, despite he doesn't believe in me, yes, I just want to uh, thank him because of him. It led me to my dream job, my dream hobby, my dream career, and now I'm beginning the path to live my dream life. And thank you to the community he blessed me with, DSG, that has supported me all the way through. Man, W's in the chat for that, bro. For real, man. You know what I'm saying? And Soccer Turk with the five gifted W's in the chat. Even though five gifted is obviously nothing. You should have gifted 50,000. You know what I'm saying? You could have definitely gifted a lot more. We already know this. But yeah, nah, for real, man. Thank if you, bro. Nah, I'm happy for you, man. I'm, battle, I'm glad you're able to do all of this, man. For real, bro. This is fun as hell, area. bro. Nigga, yeah. I told you to stream. You did it. And look where it took you, bro. And then now look at what you're doing with the training there. Like that. I told you, bro, you could do all of this, man. Yeah, look bro. at this. Y'all don't understand, bro. Look, when I see potential in somebody, I really do want people to make it out here for real. He saw that. Had nothing to offer me. I don't. I didn't want anything from him. The only thing I wanted to see is him succeed. That was it. Now look at him. Every one of y'all in here, that was his success story. And I promise all of y'all, y'all can do the same. The thing is, take heed to the things that I'm telling y'all, bro, for real, man. Try and my wife. My wife wanted me to tell you. She told me the next time I talked to you, say thank in you this too. Community because much she she seen how happy I was with training, how the studying, the talking about fitness, and like how happy I am. And she said, "Tell Daquan." She's literally word for word. Tell Daquan, thank you, because I was getting tired of this motherfucker's attitude about his work, <laughs> his goddamn yeah. job. So whatever he said to make you go do this shit, tell him. Thank you, because I was gonna kick his ass out of the city where you at. God damn, bro. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you able to get out of that, man. I'm so serious, man. Yo, tell I yeah. said no problem. Tell I said you're welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah. Hey, look, yeah. I'm just glad you're able to do what you love, man. For real. Like I said, yeah. man, I know how it is when you work in a job that you hate and stuff like that. How mentally draining it is and everything like that. Oh, yeah. And, and now you get to do what you want and everything. So yeah, man. Yep. Yeah. Oh, right, and I do have, and I have another announcement. Um, you're gay. Didn't even know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add the T to the G though, because you know I'm I'm building myself up. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the gym that I managed that I told you about, they are actually growing, and she talked to me about once I finish my nutrition search, she's actually opening specifically because of how hard I've been working in the gym, like nonstop working 60, 70 hours, they're actually opening up a nutrition portion specifically for me that I'll be running in 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 the gym. I'll be the, the lead person. I'll be in charge of that and the entire gym. It's a bump in pay and I get 50% of all the proceeds that come through uh, for the nutrition. So, Hey, W's in the chat. Y'all see this, man. Look, y'all can all do it. You got to put in the work though. Just tell them, you put in that work though, bro. Tell them so they know. Don't think it was easy. Tell them it's not. You could tell them, bro. Tell them. No, I you mean, think it's easy. Just the journey to start streaming. I'm gonna keep it a band with y'all niggas. I didn't have the bread to just go buy a PC. Niggas was paying bills, paying off debt. But somebody of this caliber says, "Yo, I believe in you to do this. I got you." Look, I didn't care that it took five months to get all the equipment. I prioritized. I said, "Fuck it. If I'm gonna spend all this money on, uh, uh." streaming equipment i might as well just be on a diet and eat properly and work out and save me some money to buy the equipment you know what i'm saying so i could knock out two birds with one stone and i started buying everything uh slowly but surely and i want to shout out um uh sky and brick because they came through nigga i ain't know nothing about the tech needed i knew absolutely 
nothing. Sky was running test streams with me all night till like four in the morning, four or five times a week before we ever streamed. They've helped with the e dates, the tech support, like guests, like everything, like nonstop. They have been here the entire time. But then from there, I was working in insurance, selling insurance, and it was ass because it was sad, it was depressing, it was soul sucking, and I hated it. And then Daquan said, Yo, just he said a bunch of times, you can do this fitness shit. Like, you do it already. They could take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. He had the conversation a couple of times. Next minute you know, an opportunity opened up. I just, I took less money, managed the gym, but it gave me time to study while I'm getting paid at the gym. So I study at the gym that I work at. So I'm getting paid to study. <laughs> Bro was doing his thing. He gave me some free game. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to get the online consultation since bro gave me the game. I'm going to take the nutrition since bro gave me the game. I'm going to take the group classes. I'm going to get as much out of this as possible to incorporate into my real life and the streams. And so, yeah, I might work 60, 70 hours going to the gym, balancing being, you know, a husband, being a whore with my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a lot of things to do. I might balance those things and it might be difficult, but these last two years, Two and a half years of being a part of DSG, I'm going to tell y'all something. I have gotten more done in these last two years than I have my entire 20s. My entire 20s. My entire 20s. That's my entire 20s. Hey, man, we get, we get our better shit better together. together. We Look, I try to tell everybody about the mindset and stuff you got to have in your 20s so then you don't have to work like as hard as we do. Say, so, all right, we work and everything like that. You Y'all need to put in that work in your 20s. <clears throat> So then you don't have to do it. I'm trying to tell you, if you do it in your 20s, even just take a full-on year of doing nothing but work, it could change your life. It did. You, and you know what else could change your life, you. bro? <laughs> nah, because I'm about to help you right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, Actually, if, if would you like to enlighten us on the things that have uh, changed your life? I mean, what has changed about your life, bro? Could you just tell us real quick? Sure. I can go ahead and tell just, you. Just go ahead and just... I can't hear, damn, I, I can't hear you, bro. I just, damn, man, shit. Like, it's just like you were talking, and I just, d damn, man, I don't even know how that happened. When Destiny gonna join the call? Destiny? Need someone to challenge God Samuels. I would actually like that, but that's not gonna happen. All right, so, next up, let's go ahead and go with, uh, I see cameras, okay, let's go with AJ. Let's go ahead and see what AJ got. AJ, would you mind getting on camera? You have about 10 seconds. Let's go ahead. How did you end up above me? Because you're not above me in life. Let's start there. How did you end up that's above debatable. me? Did you say that's debatable? It, it, it might just be debatable, sir. Uh, actually, your barber, um, what he did to your hairline is debatable. Let, let, okay, and secondly, you look like a stud. Actually, so the I, thing is, actually that's I do. Act, your gender is debatable. You look like a stud. Why are you on here trying to say what's debatable? It's debatable, and I cut my own here. I know I'm not oh, the best. Oh, I knew that. I just hey. said your barber was debatable, didn't I? A debatable stud. Hey. Nah, nah. I'm a proven, but yourself, though, yeah, yeah. And I'm in the military too, so salute you, my guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hey, you know, sir. Like, hey, hey. I'm, I'm working on it though. It's something I work on. It. You cut your own hair. You you pay money out your pocket uh, for somebody to cut your shit. I'm improving myself to line up my own hair. So, hey, sir. So, um, you're living out of a janitor's closet, obviously. Um, you know, how's your life Not going in the military? Closet. I'm. You said how's life going in the military? Yeah, because it seems like you're living out of a janitor's closet right now. So, nah, you know, this the dorm they get. They got us in. I'm in New Mexico, Holloman. Ooh, that sucks. It's, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, you know about it. How long are you there? Five years. Woo! Damn, life sucks for you, man. I feel for you. I really do feel for you. I feel for you. I mean, Damn. I'm making a best out of it. I can only do what I can do. I was, I was in Clovis. Ass. Where is that? Clovis, New Mexico. Cannon Air Force Base. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's all you had to say. It's even worse. Yeah, I know. It's even worse, bro. So basically, you. Have I know that's what. You got Texas. You huh? can go to. You got Texas. You can go to. Happy birthday, Nick. I only have WC. three bases I can go to. W community. Here, uh, Holloman, Cannon, and Creech. Only three. One hundred. What? What other? Because I'm a uh, MQ9. 
What'd you say your thing was? MQ9 Mania. Shut the fuck up. So look, A1 the official, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Finally a donation worthy of, uh, you know, worthy of acknowledgement. Please don't over talk me um, when I'm speaking. I know you, you wanted to get whatever it is that you had to say out, but um, it was relevant. You were saying something. You over it's did, okay. you, did you just interrupt me again? I'm sorry. Is this what you is this what you truly want to do? You sure about this? You want to keep you, you want to do this again? You want to try it again? Proceed, sir. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. <laughs> All right. So, AJ, height and weight. Yes, sir. Six foot one, two, oh eight. That's a lie. You're not six foot one. You're five foot nine. No cap. If you're six, I foot mean, one, well, if I'm six foot one, what? No, what, what, what are you gonna do? You're gonna pull up a police. I literally just went to the doctor today. I just went to the doctor today. I'm the one that chatted uh, about my foot. Okay. Oh, I just uh, spray drink. Yeah, I broke. Uh, yeah, I, uh, they said I might got a break in it, or I might got a, uh, and I might have a tear in it. Have you seen the green so, mouth? Yeah. Yeah, you kind of sound like Bubba, the way you speak. I get that. I, I don't no, not that, but I get that I got a country accent. You definitely. Every time I talk to somebody new. Yeah, you definitely. And I'm from Wisconsin. By You're way of Wisconsin. North Carolina. By way of North Carolina, yes. Ooh, okay. So what's out there in Wisconsin? Obviously not girls, because if they are, if there are girls, you wouldn't know about them looking the way you do. Well, you're a stud. So um, shout out to Pride Month and, you know, you for participating in Pride Month. Yeah, shout out to Pride Month for you, too, because I see what you're wearing. And, hey. What am I yeah. wearing? Something that you cannot afford. Do you see this watch? This watch cost me. You you get half of your outfit, my guy. This watch cost your entire enlistment. That's another thing. Your they GI Bill up. and your benefits all together. Hey, my enlistment bonus, I got, I got fucked because. You got fucked by a guy. Is that what you just said? No. And my recruiter was a woman. But okay. she's married. I respect that. I don't do that. And I have a fiance. So I don't. Nah. I'm yeah, good on oh, that. Oh, yeah. The don't ask, don't tell policy has been abolished. So, all right. I mean. Yeah, yeah but that's still a. Hey, I still don't mess with no. Me, hey, that's gonna be you. Well, that's the thing. Well, no, I no, you did think no, you'd be fine. That, that originally got it started, so you might have been the person that they had to make that rule for. I don't I'd, know. I'd like know. to refer to the chat for a second. Do does anybody in here believe that this this um this individual on the screen was born a man? Is there anybody on the, in this chat that believes that this individual here was born a male? A male? Do you think they have a penis between their legs, a real one, not not the one that they just get the strap like they fifty cent, just the, the real one? <laughs> Somebody said you're a creamer, that um, you know, you transitioned, perhaps. Or nah. definitely a woman. That's definitely a stud. I believe you're. Hey, no. Nah. Fun fact: Somebody in my uh tech school who I'm actually here with, mm -hmm. they were they um MTI and basic. He was the first uh transition person. And you're gonna be the second. Nah, I'm good. I will pass on that. Oh, you just don't want to be an MTI. I understand. That's what it is. Okay. Nah, I, I, I like my my shit hanging. I ain't, I'm good with it. What exactly? I'm good is, with what that. exactly is hanging? A dildo? I got. I just don't understand what's hanging. My dick hang. I got an Audi, not an Any. That's, that's all you, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really just say that, bro? The hell, man. All right. So AJ, mm -hmm. rate yourself on a scale from one. I, from one to three, because like you just it like, it's no higher than three. Like uh, okay, just rate yourself on a scale from one to ten. You can't use seven. <sighs> I'm a strong. I'm a strong seven man. And Is that what you have to tell three. yourself in the mirror, like as an affirmation? Seven and a half to eight, man. Minus what? A seven and a half to eight minus what? What are we? What, what are we? I didn't know we were subtracting. I thought we were going with the direct number. What I'll say one thing I don't have. I have my own vehicle. I don't have my own house yet, but I'm working towards that. I have goals that I have set. I have ambition. And that somehow makes I, you more attractive. Yes, because I can communicate uh, to any people, like how people are scared to talk to people in rank in the military. I can talk to any rank. I have uh, multiple conversations. I've already been, in, uh, been at this base for almost two and a half months. And I already got a, a coin from a commander. I've gotten plenty of coins. 
and still got kicked out of the military. Just, just don't get too far. Yeah, ahead of two, your that's two different paths, though. You can't, you can't. Don't get too hey, far ahead of yourself. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Come on now. Hey man, you can't. Hey bro, look at that shape of you. Need to stay. In, you know, make sure you stay in that. Lane. Hey. Fix but it. you know, you pay for yours. I ain't got to pay for mine, but I'm building to so I can perfect mine. You're a stud. Mine. You're a stud. Not at all. You Not could have been all, a set sir. it off. That's actually my lady favorite movie. But nah, I'm Great. good. So, y'all watch the Queen Latifah scenes a lot, don't y'all? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> sure y'all do. Pretty sure y'all enjoy those. So, all right. So, AJ, what do you got for me, man? What you got for me today, bro? What you need help with? See if I can help you out. I don't know if it's a need help. Well, let's see something that I possibly need help with. Possibly uh, more determination. Well, I was about to say determination in the gym. But I try to work out, but I didn't. Uh, I first messed up. My Damn, that call just messed up. <clears throat> Damn. I mean, right in the middle, you're speaking too. I hate how it does that, man. I really hate how it does it. It's like right in the middle, you talking, it just messes up. Wow. I hate that for you, man. I hate that for y'all. I really do. Big boy girthy. Can you please get on camera? I'm going to give you about 10 seconds. One. Two. And he left. Can everybody in this chat not be like big boy girthy? Let's see. Goblin. Let's go ahead and see uh, Goblin. Goblin, would you mind getting on camera, please? Yes, sir, Mr. Samuels. Okay, I'm not a military director. I'm not an MTI. All right, so, <clears throat> Goblin, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Well, you're not fine, as far as looks. Thank but, um, you. You're doing good. Just say you're doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, because you're not looking good. All right, we got to start there. All right. All right. Let's go with your height and weight. I'm 5'11", 295 pounds. Not... Just, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga! What the fuck did you just say? 295. Nigga, stand up. Alright. Uh, God damn, nigga! God damn, he's a fat ass nigga! What the fuck? Nigga, god damn! Shit! How many kids you got? I don't have any kids, I'm 20. With that dad bod, you don't have any fucking kids? Nope. God damn. You seen Snowfall, right? Yeah, I have. What, what's the Spanish wrestling nigga? That's the nigga you built like. Do you wrestle? <laughs> you got Funny wrestle. is I. Yes, I do. Oh yeah, I was wondering why you was wearing a little tank top and shit. You be you probably be in your your, your house cosplaying mucha lucha and shit, don't you? <laughs> I can tell. Yes, sir. I can tell. All right, so five eleven, two hundred and ninety. God damn. Okay. What are you doing to change that? Let's go ahead and start with that before we get to the rating yourself. What are you doing to change that as far as you being 5'11 and 290 pounds? Oh, I'm a power lifter, so. You're fat. Yes. You're not All a power, power lifter. lifters are fat. You're fat. You are. You're yes. a fat. That's what, that's what you are. You're a fat. Yes, sir. So who are you power lifting for? This a 30-year-old man. Myself. Okay. You have never gotten a girl in your life, have you? No, sir. I like men. Uh <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, that one threw me for a loop uh, sorry sorry about that <clears throat> my allergies uh, so it I just I just think you're being serious are you are you are you being serious yes sir don't get the fuck off this goddamn call with me. Go to, <laughs> go the fruit. Nigga, you got me on the phone with you right now. Why, why you doing this, bro? You, you go, you go take a screenshot of this and say we was on FaceTime together. Nigga, don't play. Nigga, you better make sure everybody know we on the Discord call on the stream. Nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Nah, you playing with dicks. That's, that's what you're doing. You talking about you like niggas. I know you serious. I can look at you and tell. You, you talk about you a power lifter. You a power bottom, nigga. Nigga, you was gay. Nigga, you was gay for real, nigga. I know that. All right. But you ain't never got a bitch in your life, have you? 
No. I can tell because you're a power lifter. And you're power lifting for yourself. Instead of trying to get yourself a nice aesthetic physique so you can finally see what pussy feels like. Why is that? Because I love pussy. Yo, you got to chill. You, you, okay. have, you have to calm it down. Let's go ahead and tone it down, all right? So so you, you're really a power lifting. You're fat. And you're doing this for yourself. But but when when do the women come into play? Never. You never power lift for a bitch. I know. That's the thing. You need to. You need to start doing some something other than just powerlifting. Or you can power lift with an aesthetic physique. Why don't you get yourself there? Because I want to be perfect before I get a bitch. I want to be high value. I can most definitely respect that. I respect that. <clears throat> can we get a um I would say, what do you young guys say? W's? Um, can I get a W in this chat, please, for that? I actually like that answer. <clears throat> All right. So, let's go ahead and rate yourself on a scale from 1 to 10. Why do you feel about yourself? What do you, what would you rate yourself? I'm a solid three. Yeah, real, too, with that. Okay. But, yes. can I make my case? I think my dumpy gives me an extra one, so I think four. Don't turn around. I don't want to see that at all. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't want to see that. All right. Um, well, with women, I don't think that's really going to help, the fact that you have an ass. It may, for some. You know, you're a power lifter also. Okay. Um, now, what, what, what do you work? How much do you make a year? How much do you make a year? You don't even tell me. Zero dollars a year. Oh, you don't have a job. You just you just stay in that place with the Venom poster in the back? That's all you do? You just stay in yeah. you at your mom's house? Yeah, this is my parents' house. Oh, wow. Okay. So you really do not have a job at all? Or are you just saying this? I'm a student. That's a student. Pretty much a no, no job. That's a job. A student. That's why you're in a Twitch stream right now. Yes. No, no bitches. None. Yes, no bitches. So in college, you haven't talked, you haven't spoken to women at all in college? I have. Okay. And they just don't like you. What is it? Because you don't get them. If you did, you would have, you would have been told me. So what is it? What, what's stopping you from getting women? Well, I'm not high value. I've told you that. You I know that, that but you've spoken to women in college. If you've spoken to some, that you, we, we, you should get some type of result. Maybe I just don't have game. You can see that right now. I can, well, yeah. You don't have looks either. Yeah. So it's probably hard. All right. That's why well, I'm here. Where are you struggling at in life, bro? Because you said you, you know, you're not high value. Right. What's going on yeah. to where you're just a student? Go ahead. Let me know. I always wanted someone to tell me how to do this because I've been trying so hard. But let's hear it. How would you bag Gorlock the Destroyer? So let's 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 get um let's get real. All right, where are you struggling at in life? To where you're just a student. What's going on with that? I got no money. At twenty and years no old. Bitches. No, but at twenty yes. years old. At twenty years old. Why do you not have any type of hustle aside from you going to school? What is it that's stopping you from getting a job? Myself. Hmm, yourself. And why are yes. you stopping yourself from getting a job? Because everything's been given to me already. Wow. So your parents coddle you? No. The state does. Oh, you're retarded. That's what it is. <laughs> you get a disability check, right? That's what it is? Because yes. I, I, I kind of thought it. I just didn't want to put it out there because like, I know you ain't the autistic retarded. Like, you like... like you at least had like four teachers in every class. Like, and you only had yes. one class, four teachers. I was in the sped ed class. I, every day I was in like the rooms that were locked away, far away from the normal kids. They used to hold me down a lot when I throw tantrums. You do seem like you do have Tourette's or something. You do, you like, you do seem like that kid that would blurt obscenities out of nowhere. Fuck! Like, just, just to do it. Like, you, dicks! Definitely dicks, because I know dicks are on your mind a lot. How many times have you ever blurred dicks in public? A couple times, but most of the time I usually go for cocks. Okay, cocks. Like, fuck you're cocks. White. I forgot you cocks white. in my ass. Stuff like that. All right. So what's what's truly stopping you from getting a job? Let's really let's start with that for real. Let's get let's get a little real with this. Mainly I'm doing a dual major in both sciences, STEMs, chemistry, and physics. It's it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. Getting a job would absolutely affect my GPA and basically my scholarships that are keeping me in school. I like that answer. You're here right now, correct? How yeah. long have you been watching the stream? I've been watching you on YouTube since I think 2017, but How stream... How long have you been watching this stream right now that's been five hours and 25 minutes? How long have you been watching this stream? 
Oh, uh, the stream, I think it's been about like two or three hours. Two or three hours watching the stream. Could have been time yeah. you could have put into yourself. That is true. I mean, that would have been, you know, time putting time into yourself is much better than putting a dick. Huh. That's debatable, but you, you could say that. I, I, I understand. This nigga gay as hell, bro. What this nigga, bro? This nigga gay as hell, man. Dog, stop, bro. The hell, man. Hey, right. I'm just trying to take Guzzle's title. No, 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 no. Nobody need him and your mother told me nobody needs to, you know, take their titles. But yeah, man. So if I were you, I would try to figure out some type of side hustle though to be able to create more income. You need to generate some type of more. You need to generate some income. Now, granted, your parents, how do they feel about you not doing it? Like, because there are supportive parents out there that do just, you know, tell their kids to just focus on school. Is that what you have? Supportive parents like that? They're fine. I basically just get paid to go to school every time. Like every semester, I get about eight k, ten k from my scholarships, mm -hmm. just spending money. Like tuition's already paid for, my room's and, paid for. So what are you doing with that? I put it into stocks. Very good. Okay. We need a W in the chat for that. We got a smart one here. I, the glasses I already knew. You know, our, by the glasses I already knew. You're gonna, you you're going places. What are you gonna? Uh, what what is your? What did you say your? Uh, your degree, your major, and your uh, minor. What was it? Physics and chemistry. Whoa, that's man. And then it's crazy to go through school for that long just to work at Walmart. <laughs> you know that is gonna end up me. One day you're just gonna walk in. I'm gonna greet you, say hi. How was your day? Could I see your receipt? And I know you're gonna steal something from there. Wow. <laughs> could you could you could you enlighten me why I would steal from there? You know sometimes. You just need a bottle of Henny. Wow. So it has nothing to do with um the color of my suit. No. Okay. I'm just making sure that uh, we don't have a racist on the stream. No. All right. How many times have you ever said the N-word? We got to get to this the man's real. pantless How many times suit probably cost niggas? about three fifty. Yeah. I've seen you donate a few times and call me a nigga. <clears throat> Why have you done that? That is false. I donated to you and said gay shit. So you think that just helped your argument? I'd much yeah. rather you call me a nigga. Just go ahead, just go, just go ahead, and let it go right now, let it fly. You got a little Spanish in you, don't you? What are you no, tiger? I'm Albanian. Oh, Albanian. No, you definitely can say it. Let that shit fly, nigga. No. I mean, I said it. And I'm not black. Ah, you're Albanian. You damn near one of us. You a sand one. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I'm man, like, you close fuck. enough. You close enough. Look at enough. this shit. Damn, you, you're chunky as hell, bro. Like you got this shit them, looks like, looks like a you, fucking egg. It looks like an eggshell. You got them. I'm a big boy arms. Like you. you yeah. Know, you got them chunky ass arms. Sometimes so my grandma just changes my arm. Yo, can you please not fucking interrupt me while I'm talking? God damn, I know you hear a black man speaking. You hear a real nigga talking. Shut the fuck up. All right. All right. So, yeah, no, I'm actually proud of you, though. You're going places in life, man. You got a lot going for yourself. Stop with the gay shit. Okay? I would suggest that. Let's go ahead and stop there. You know what I'm saying? You said you had parents. The father. And how would would he approve of the things that you've said to me? Hell no. So why do you continue to do it? They can probably hear me right now. So how does your dad, how would he react to you saying you, you're gay? Oh, he doesn't speak English. <laughs> bro, I hate this nigga, bro. Dog, what the fuck, man? So you just get away with it. Like, they can just never notice shit. Like, I can't imagine not speaking to the, like, nigga, a uh, different language. My son in the room telling a man that he like men. Like, and, and the nigga say it right in front of me. Yo, nigga, I like niggas. And then it's like, like, bro, imagine this thing in his room with a the baby song going saying nigga a lot. And his dad don't even know how many times he done said nigga. Dad don't even know what you said, nigga. Bro, that's crazy. I can't imagine. The shit I'd be saying if my parents didn't know English, oh my God. You'd be surprised. Are you speaking to me? No. What'd you say? No. I have no pants on, but yeah. Uh, I have a question. What do you have a, what do you have to say to me? Uh, if since me and Nikki already had a six piece nugget, can we still eat our plate? Why are y'all bugging me? If y'all are hungry, y'all can eat, correct? Mm -hmm. Please stay away from me. Can I get a snack? I would suggest y'all ask your fathers if you can eat. 
Don't don't come back here and ask me. All right, both of you, do whatever it is that you would need to do to um, sustain your life, and leave me alone, please. All right. So then we're gonna go ahead and get to the next call that isn't gay. I understand. Thank you uh, for your time, Mr. Samuels. All right, no problem. You could have got off this fucking call while I was talking to those little motherfuckers that came at it. God damn it. Fuck off. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the next person. Let's see what we got next. All right. Um, ignorance. Would you mind getting on camera, please? My bad, G. I'm not a G. Don't ever call me that again. You can apologize formally and say that you apologize, Mr. Samuels. Can you please start that over? My fault, Mr. Samuels. I apologize. And then you say my fault. I said my fault. I apologize. My bad. Okay. We got to start off with some type of respect. Respect right. your superior. I would say your elder, but, you know, just respect your superior. All right. All right. So, ignorance. Mm. Let's go ahead and start off with your height no. and weight. I am shit, probably like one thirty on five seven. A little bitch. Wow. I apologize. I didn't think you heard that. I thought I said that under my breath. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. I apologize. Um. So um. Cool. All right. So on on a scale of one to ten, what what would you uh what would you rate yourself? Shit, on a good day, I'm on a seven. Bad day, cool five. I don't think you heard me. So on a on a um, scale from one to ten, it, like in realistic numbers, what would you rate yourself? I don't think you heard me the first time. Average out of six. A six would be above average. Uh, just yeah. are, are, are we clear on that? Yeah. You would say that you're above average. Yep. Yeah. Is there a single person that's in this stream that would rate this man above average? Is there anybody in here that would agree with this man that he's above average? I'm just going to go ahead and check this out to see what uh, everybody's thinking. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm just saying nothing but no's. No. Wow. No. Wow, man. See, that's the thing, man. As a man, you need to be realistic with yourself. You're not a woman. Why are you not delusional to think that you are above average? Should have got it. I could have got on here and lied and said I was like an eight, nine. I but feel then like I would have brought you right back to reality and said that you're you're. I'll give you I'll give you a four. I'll give you a four. A four. That's crazy as shit, son. Because I see potential in you. You're actually a. You're actually a three. I just see potential in you. Yeah. All right. I can see potential. What, in you. what makes you think I'm a three? We'll just look. What, at you. Great, great. We'll just look at you. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Don't mind the shirt. It's just a bullshit shirt I got on. No, it's I ain't got a haircut in like a couple weeks. Oh, I so can I tell. Don't, I don't... Oh, I can tell. Nah. You, well, there's no point in getting a haircut when you can't get any women. You know, obviously, you've, nah, never, right. you've never dealt with a woman in your life. When's Shit. the last time you've ever spoken to a woman? Shit, just yesterday. Oh, wow. You spoke to her with looking like that? Okay. She didn't yeah. speak back. Bullshit. She rejected you. How, 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 yeah, did, how, did, how did that go then? You you explain to us how that went. We'll see if it's sounds. Just normal conversation. We've been talking for a minute. Okay, normal conversation. Friend. Oh, you're, you're in the friend zone. Okay. Now, and now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. You spoke to one of your friends. Had you told us that, we would have been, you know, told you how believable this was. Not a friend. I made, I made clear that we're not friends. For sure, for sure. But she's 100%. never talked to you, so she made it clear that y'all are friends. We met once. Uh, We've uh, been talking online. Online? So you, so you, uh, put yourself on one of those AI girlfriends. No, I talked to her online. I mean, I, my bad. I met her I, at a party. Hey, Y'all see, he just gave himself up. Hey guys, I just want to ah. let everybody. He got one, himself one of the AI girlfriends. Nah, so, nah, nah. You stuck with me up. You sound like a lawyer, huh? Um, hey, so fuck that shit. You can't fuck Chat GPT. So how does that feel to right, you? Weekend, son. Never that. Never. Uh, if you, we're, we're going to talk about tweaking, let's go ahead and talk about how you cannot stop looking around for your dealer to come around with that crack. I'm in front of the gym right now, and I'm looking around because there's a bunch of kids going around, so I'm trying to avoid any kind of contact, eye contact with these motherfuckers, make sure they ain't looking at me crazy. You are behind a 7-Eleven right now waiting on your dealer to come and give you that crack. 
Let me show you. That rock. Right oh, there. You see up there? It says CMMA. So that this is thing is behind a warehouse. Man. This nigga is behind a warehouse waiting on that rock. <laughs> Do y'all nah, see? Yeah. Man, Leon served nah, niggas yeah. right back there too, bro. Do y'all see where this nigga is at? Wow, bro. Nah, son. You got it twisted. Oh, I don't have it twisted. You got it twisted. I can walk up to that sign right now and show you what it says. Shit, I got the logo right here on my but, shirt. But you know what you can't walk up to right now? What? A woman? That's right. You you knew it. I'm glad I knew you, I, I already knew what you was gonna say. I'm glad you knew it though. I knew she was gonna say. You, you think I'm one of these other niggas, bro? You think I'm one of these other niggas? I'm well, not. Well, I, I think you're one of these ugly niggas, yes, but other I don't know what other uh, other what do you mean by other? What do we what do we what is other? Niggas who are afraid to talk to women because they ain't ever talked to women a day in their life. They're afraid to talk to you. Bryce undercover twenty one jump street. Nah. Never that. They're afraid to talk I'm five foot seven. I'm five foot seven. Why the fuck would they be afraid to talk to me? Because y'all the same height. Fuck you, nigga. What the fuck? What the fuck do you think? Come on, nah, that's crazy. I admit that's a down. That's a, that's a little bit of it. Hold me back a little bit, but hey, shit. Sometimes fuck it. You're coming. Whatever. I ain't. If I can't get it, fuck it. So what's stopping you right now from getting yourself a haircut? When getting me a haircut, shit, bro. I've been at work, I go straight to the gym, or I've been streaming, or I just I got the money. One of those couple of things, or I got other shit to do. Okay. No, that's understandable. I've been busy. No, definitely. You know what I'm saying? But if you can, of course, you know, keep up with it if you can. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I oh, see yeah, the potential. Yeah. I see the potential, bro. I see the potential. I've been telling myself, my bad, uh, I ain't mean to cut you off, but I've been telling myself I was going to get a haircut every two weeks. I've been trying to, but it lasts me a cool minute. But when it start growing out, it do get a little crazy. Well, the thing I is, do see that. have you ever thought of purchasing clippers yourself? Hell no, I ain't got steady hands for that. No, well, the thing is, like, with me, I I get a haircut, and then right after that, until I'm ready to get another one, I just keep shaping. I mean, I just keep um, you know, lining my shit up with clippers and razors until I'm ready to get. Is that how? Because I can't fair. do that shit at that's all. Fair. That's fair. I can't that's do that fair. shit. That's fair. That's fair. Niggas like you are lucky now, that you were blessed with a good hairline, but guess what you weren't blessed with? I, yeah, yeah, and, and then who do you really think has the upper hand? <laughs> well, obviously the upper hand. <laughs> who do you think has the upper hand here? Uh, Yeah, you a big nigga. I give you that. You a big nigga. You got blessed with that. I believe I give you that. Blessed with that. But also. I've been working on, I've, I've been working on, my, I've been, I've been, I've been working on myself. I've been, shit, I've been. I've been doing martial arts training for about four or five years now. It's hard to gain weight. It's the food shit. I spend a lot of money on food, but it's the consistency with lifting. And plus, I cut so much fucking calories over here. It's just like eating and lifting and doing all that shit is just... I don't feel like a really balanced... It's kind of hard. Do you go for higher calorie dense foods to in order to gain weight? Uh, When I'm paying attention, yeah. But for the most part, I just eat what the fuck ever. I just be eating. But if you can eat high calorie dense foods, it would be easier to gain weight. Like say for instance, whenever I do want to um get myself some extra calories in for the day, instead of me going for like something like my protein bar, which would be twenty uh, grams of protein, one hundred seventy calories, I'll go for and only like six grams of fat. I'll go for the protein cookie that has two hundred fifty calories and then six grams. I mean, uh, no, fifteen grams of fat and only fifteen uh, grams of protein. Is that the ah uh, shit? I I ate the little cookie ones that they sell sell at Seven Eleven. I don't know if we talking about this. I we're probably not talking quest. about the same thing. I get Quest. Yep, those ones, the chocolate chip ones. I fuck with those. Yeah, those right there are pretty. Yeah, good. I be if getting you, those ones. If you go with high calorie dense foods, that should help you out. Like as far as like steaks, things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, yeah, think things are, that are usually higher in fat are usually more calorie dense. You know, like uh, pork yep. is and everything like that. So high calorie dense food should yeah. help you gain weight. And as long as you're lifting yeah, and I, cardio and stuff, you should be fine. Yeah, I've been trying to cut down on the uh, pork, but goddamn, the barbecue ribs is fire. I mean, if you're trying to gain weight, that shouldn't be yeah. an issue. That shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. I'm not talking about the whole, like, just the um, the calorie thing. I'm talking about, like, the heart shit and whatever. Very true. Very true. Pork is bad for you. Yeah. Well, yeah. as far as beef, well, beef, you know what I'm saying, can work for you. Yeah. Uh, uh, higher fat chicken as far as chicken thighs and chicken wings. Yeah, I try to make steak as much as I can. It's not often, but I try to. Okay. Well, you know, 
best of luck to you on your fitness journey. And hopefully you do be able to gain some weight because 130 pounds is very skinny. <laughs> Trust me, it is. I'm, 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 the good thing is I keep it, I can stay toned when I'm, when I'm on my bullshit, but when I'm on my, when I'm on my shit, it, I get, I get real good. I get a little. Yeah. Well, just pay attention to the, like the things that you're eating and know why you're eating them. That, that right. that's what helps me out a lot. To where if I want to gain or lose weight, I just pay attention to why I need to eat these things. I just like okay, if I do want to eat this right here, what exactly is it going to do for me? Every single thing. Right. I eat. Yeah. If I want to lose weight, because yeah, I never really. Yeah, because I ain't never really been the one for like candies or nothing. I'm I'm a chocolate fiend, yeah, but I ain't never been one for like candy and shit. Like like you know, like like chocolate dicks and stuff. Fuck you, nigga. Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm, I'm nah. just saying you did you did say it. You did say it. I said chocolate dicks. Nah. No. Fuck I, no. I didn't hear it. Well, I, it, it kind of sounded like you said it under your breath, so I apologize. Nah, right. I'll accept your apology. Don't do it again, though. I'm sorry. What what is it that you didn't want me to do again? No, no, no. Was it that? Was it? it was, well, I won't have to do that again. Is that what it was? It must have been that, huh? Damn. Well, I won't have to do that again now, will I? Yeah, that's kind of what happens whenever you uh, whenever you disrespect me. That's what happens. <laughs> All right. Let's go with the next person we have here. Ugh. U G G. Can you please get on camera? Yes, sir. All right. A million, a hundred, a million thousand. Oh, my bad. Salutations, Mr. Daquan Samuels. Is there How are you today? Is there a reason why you got on here counting money? Oh, no. Uh, sorry. I was too busy counting my stacks. With your WWE belt. Yeah, this is all iced out. Got it from the jewelers. You want me to test it? Do I want you to Eat. do what? I want you to fix your, your Wi-Fi. Because I know you're at Starbucks right now using the Wi-Fi. And there must be so many people on there that it's causing you to go so slow. Potentially. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is take that WWE belt off. We're going to do that. Because you're a grown man. But let's go ahead and do that really quick. Ah. There we go. Now Sorry, looking diamonds more are too heavy. Now we're looking. Now we're looking more valuable. All right. So, Ugg, how old are you, man? Twenty. Twenty now. Yes, wow. sir. I seem to remember you from a uh, from, I think about two years ago. I think you were eighteen years old. I think we've spoken before, haven't we? We have. We have. Let me. Uh, actually, I, I think I, I think I remember how that conversation went. I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure, but it kind of sounded something. Along the lines of uh, uh, 18, little ass wee wee, a three, in your mom's house, mm -hmm. 1500 a month. Why are you focused on bitches? That's that. Um, I want to sure yeah, make sure a bitch. Don't ever fucking talk me! Shut the fuck! Do you remember that conversation that we had? I do. Yeah. So how have you improved from then? Because, um... You were 18, little penis, living with your parents and making $1,500 a month. Yep. What has changed about your life since then? So, first of all, I got some great friends. Um, I got a girl. Um, no, great. great. Oh, okay, oh, great, buddy. great. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, continue. I forgive you. Um, I got some great friends. I got a girl. Let, I got more let, money. Let's go ahead. Stop right there. There's, you don't forgive me. You acknowledge me. That I offered to say a, that I offered an apology. You do not forgive me. I did not ask for your forgiveness. I offered an apology. Okay, now you can continue. So other than that, I started working out. Um, I, man, I've been working on engineering. I got all nineties. You know what I'm saying right now. Um, and yeah, life's been going great. That's good. I've been you said improving. you had a girlfriend now too. Yes. How much do you pay her? That's an undisclosed number. Okay. Okay. Um. So uh, you you met her online. Where'd you meet her at online? And um, why haven't uh, you met Discord. her in person? Um. Well, there is, there are things in the works. You know, uh, instant gratification. 
Well, we can't say it's your girlfriend hey. then if you haven't met her. If you haven't fucked her, that's not your girlfriend. Hmm. Hmm. You could say that. No, it's not. I can. I just did say it. That's not your girlfriend. So, yeah. Now is it? Long distance. I guess huh? not. Yeah. How far away? Just, no, no, hundred miles. Whoa, a hundred miles. You could drive there. Yeah. You could be fucking by tomorrow. Why aren't you doing it? <laughs> Why are you on the stream? I gotta drive over a hundred miles to pick up that little motherfucker upstairs every other weekend uh, during the school year. Why are you not over there fucking? Ah, uh, I got school. Ah, She's only in three it's sets. summertime. You're out of school, aren't you? No, I got summer classes. Why do you have summer classes? Extra. You look extra. Oh, uh, what's it called? To get more credits so I can graduate faster. You need to be getting some extra pussy. That's what you need to be focused on. We need to get you over there. What is it that I can do um, to get you get you some pussy faster? That's what we need. To um, hmm. how much money you got? I have about um, well, this is about three million dollars just on my wrist alone. So Damn. let's start there. We can start there. I, I don't think I need to disclose. Million? I don't think I need to disclose my income other than the fact that you see something as valuable as this. That's fair. Okay. Now, you, on the other hand, you were making $1,500 a month before. Now, let's uh, go ahead and check the progress on that. Where are you at now in life? Oh, I made enough money to go through college mm. without debt. That's something I like to hear right there. Everybody, we need that. That's what I like to hear. I'm proud of you. So, since the last time we've spoken... Your dick has not grown. I know you're expecting me to say something else. Like, I'm glad of your... I'm much... Like, I'm so proud of your progress. But that little ass dick, what are we going to do about that? Hey, some shit can't change. Unless you got uh, one million to spare. Well, because you do seem confident, but you're not confident in that penis. What do we do to change this? Hmm. You know, surgery is always an option. I mean, you need it before you go over there to that, uh, to that girlfriend of yours. Indeed. How, how are you going to break it to her? Let you have a microphone. Oh, man. I'm going to have to sit her down. You know. Not on that little ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got to sit her down. Um, How's this conversation going to go? Hey, let, you know, let's, go ahead, let's, let's go ahead and have this conversation right now. How's this going to go? All right, I'm the girl. I'll, 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 let, let's role play. I'm the girl. Go ahead. Right. Hey, Ugg. Damn, you oh, ugly. What the fuck happened to you? You catfishing me? Oh my god, Ugg, I want to give you some pussy. All right, now go ahead. Damn, probably not anymore if you look like that. So we're going to... Jeez This is you breaking down how small your penis is to her. Oh my god, Ugg, I want to fuck you. All right. I'm going to tell you this. Can you sit down, please? I can tell you're nervous. This shows me that you genuinely have a small penis. You keep shaking like this a lot. Like when I've been on here, I've been calm. You see me? Calm, cool, collective. You're not that. You're too nervous. Calm yourself down. You know. You can look down right now and know that motherfucker has been the same way for 20 years. It has not grown since you've been a toddler. You went through puberty and you think hasn't. The thing is, one day it may hit a growth spurt, but that hasn't happened yet. So you have to look down at it right now. Just know, okay, you... Bro, it ain't like you gonna change. So now you gotta tell her. Oh, I don't wanna fuck you. All right, here we go. My dick's small. <laughs> what the fuck, yo? Bro. Ah, jeez Louise. <laughs> nigga, now I'm crying. I'm crying, bro. I'm crying. Like, nigga, nah, bro. Oh, my God. Don't There's cry. No you said that. There's no way you said it that. It could one day be bigger. Why did you, why did you say that? Like, bro. <laughs> Don't cry, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Nah, bro. This thing got me crying, bro. Nah, I don't want this thing. Alright, alright. <laughs> alright, here's a tissue to wipe your tears. Oh, shit. Yo, alright, we done role playing. Chill, 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 nigga. Chill, okay. bro. Shit, man. Alright, so... All right, so that's how the conversation's gonna go. Shit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It sounds like you have success in that because you, at least you tell her the truth. You know what I'm saying? You being honest with her, so at least she yeah. knows. Hey, bro, you ain't, you ain't gonna hold shit back. Now, before I'm proud of you or your progress, or oh, some real shit, man. Like you've come Thank a long you. way, bro. You know what I'm saying? From the UG I seen on the first stream to now, 
you've definitely come a long way, bro. Now that you got yourself some friends and everything, you got yourself a girl and all that and everything, and you're on the right path in life, bro. You know what I'm saying? In college, everything's paid for and everything, no debt, all of that shit, man. Can't do nothing but applaud you, man. I'm happy for you, man. Much success yeah, to thank you, you for giving in the me future. Yeah, thank you for giving me the opportunity. I just want to tell like everyone in chat, like real talk, your life isn't done. Uh, kids are a blessing. Yo, of nigga. course, uh, you'll have more. Oh God, <laughs> of course, you can have more responsibilities, but uh, if it's yours, oh it's rewarding. And uh, bless you and your kids if it's yours. Uh, you'll be in my prayers. There's no way this thing just did this, bro. Why did oh, you... can I? Uh... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was about to say, sorry for interrupting. You cannot over talk me. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead. Oh, I was gonna ask. Um, I was gonna ask if uh, you want me to give you a scan report of the people in the waiting room, so you can get more high quality people. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm gonna go there. I'm, I'm gonna just pull people up. I'm pulling people up that I see a video thing next to their names. So, as long as I see one. Yeah, I'm we got a there. woman in there. Sorry. A woman. Hmm. Yeah. Let me go ahead and see if I see a woman name. Oh. It's okay. Caster Beeswax. Hmm. That's a woman. And then Pacos. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, that's been a woman then this whole Pacos time? Then Pacos has been talking. Hold on. Caster Beeswax has been a woman this whole time? Yeah. What, what she showed her cam and everything. What they pronouns are, because they've they been letting me call them a nigga the whole time. They got, <laughs> Damn. Like, is it a stud or something? Keep it a man with me, bro. What are we, what are we, what are we working with, bro? Is it a stud? It's a fine woman. Young oh, woman. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, well, let me get your little uh, glass up off here. And go All right. Next thank you. All right, man. Like, truly thank you. All right, nah, no problem, bro, for real, man. Did this nigga just hang up on me? If you ever in your... If anybody comes in and hangs up on... This motherfucker... I'm, I'm... Ban that motherfucker right now. Ban this motherfucker right now. This motherfucker just hung up on me. Ain't no fucking way you just hung up on me. Ban this nigga right now. What the hell? If you ever in your life... Hang up on me. The fuck is wrong? Motherfucker, I just congratulated you... On your pathetic, pathetic ass little dick. I didn't put, did I congratulate him on his dick? On your life? God damn it. What the fuck? All right, well, we'll get cast a bee wax since he said, you know what I'm saying? All right. What the fuck? Why the fuck do it keep having me on the bottom? I was about to say. All right. Did I get kicked out? No, you're actually in the Daquan Samuels room with Daquan Samuels. Do you have any more dumb questions, or are we going to actually get to this? You get kicked out? Oh, hi. Well, hi. So, are you the one that's actually been in my chat? Yes. And you've allowed me to call you a nigga for all this, all this time. I, oh, I got to turn off my TV. Yes, Okay. Please, so please do that. Don't interrupt me! I apologize. Okay. All right, continue. I've told you this before though I, I swear i have after that i still called you a yes nigga? i apologize that's okay for not calling you a nigga again because i'm going to continue to call you a nigga <clears throat> i would ask that you not but okay, i, I cannot control your actions what are your pronouns then uh she and her okay well i'll call you she and her i apologize okay so, Cassus Beeswax, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start off with this. Um, your name? Oh, I'm like my actual name or just Caster Beeswax? Uh, Cassus Beeswax works for me. All right. Okay. okay, height and weight. We know this is going. Did you think uh, when I adjusted my glasses, I was trying to look at your titties? You going, what the hell? Motherfucker, did, do you not realize how high value of an individual I am? I don't need to look at no goddamn titties. Don't you ever try to insult me like that again. I apologize. It's just that I had just noticed that I was showing them and I didn't want to offend you. Okay. Okay. You're trying to be classy. I understand. Okay. Height and weight. Um, I am 5'4 and I just say I'm about 200. God damn! <laughs> we just going to say that? Or are we actually going to get your real weight? Uh, I, I just go with 200. It's just easy. So you're about 250. That's you actually. Mm -hmm. Look, if, no. if, when it comes down to y'all women and your body counts, if we got to multiply by three, whenever y'all give us a number, then whenever you give me a weight, I'm going to add 50. 
Okay, then say I'm 150 then. So you're about 250 because I'm going to add 100. All right, fair enough. Okay, all right. So, 5'4", 250 pounds. God damn. How did you allow yourself to get to 250 pounds? Uh, I guess it was gradual. Is Did you like gradually audition for my 600 pound life? No, I did not, but uh, it was more of just like, uh, so I used to work at a hotel, and working at a hotel, I did a lot of leg work, but now we went to, uh, I went to a desk job, uh -huh. and so I don't do as much, but I've gotten back into the gym, so. What, you got back in there yesterday? Because you're 250 pounds. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, I've been, I, well, in that case, I've, uh, I've been at the gym for about two, three months now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two, three months. All right. Oh, okay. Now, <clears throat> dress size. I'm a 11 or 12. Okay. You know the next question. You're gonna have to rate I don't. yourself. You're gonna have to rate yourself on a scale from one to oh. ten. And you can't use seven. Okay, then I'm. I can't use seven. Yeah. The, oh, then I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna say eight. Then. We're gonna. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so I don't think you heard me clear. I said you can't say seven, and I knew that. Like we're not even gonna start at seven. Like, okay. You can't, you can't even say anything above seven. Like you can't. I don't. I don't think we're we're watching the same stream right now. Um. Oh. Okay. Then fine. I'll use a six. Then. You will use a six to do what? To yes. subtract To subtract from your real number. Is this what we're gonna do? So we're just. Gonna so keep I'm bullshitting each other. We're just gonna keep bullshitting each other here, huh? Wow. Okay. So we so can I'm use six. One. We can use six to subtract from seven. There we go. So okay. So you're a one. All right. So you started. Uh, why do you feel like you're a one? I don't feel like I'm a one. Wow. Wow. I actually feel like I'm a I'm about a a, a hard eight, but you said I can't go higher than seven, and then you I said six, and you said minus six, so then I said one because seven minus six is one. All right, your average at best. That's fine. <laughs> Man, I can't be like this nigga with girls. Like, I can't do it. Like, this nigga, man. All right, hold on. Okay, do you want me to make it hard? Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, don't make I'll it hard. It. Whoa, I ain't, got no, I ain't got no pants on. Don't make it hard. Whoa, chill out. I ain't asked you to go that far. Calm the okay, fuck down. Uh, whoa, y'all see this chat? She, hold, she try to hold me hostage. Chill out. No, no. Okay, that. fine. I'm not, I'm not average. I'm not below average. I'm a 10, blah, blah, blah. That's what I am. A single this, mother this, of four at 38 is telling me that she's a 10. Wow. I don't have any kids. Wow. Also, I'm only 31. You look 40. Do I? Dang. Like, well, if I had to guess, I would most definitely have said you're older than me. Today's your birthday, too? No. Okay. <laughs> then, That's then, fine. I mean, I tell people I'm 45 anyway. And they believe it. Yes, they do. No, they don't. I'm lying. They do not. Black women do age gracefully, so I will give you that. Do I really look 40? <laughs> um, you look 45, as you said earlier. Okay. But as I I'll said, work with them. As I said, black women do age gracefully. So, at least you don't have that going for you, because that didn't happen. Because you, you're 31 and you look 45. So, there's that. Um, okay, so let's let's get um started with this. All right, so what's going on in your life? What's going on? What, what brings you on here? Um, so actually, I thought this was a part of the face reveal part, so that's why I came on here, but. Apparently, we got to come up with issues. So, well, no, well, you have an issue the fact that you're a single mother of four. So, we got to start there. Dang, who, who's my husband? Who did I marry? Well, nobody, because nobody would marry you. 
Okay, so I do I have like do I have they're all by the same dad or is it like uh, two baby hey, daddies this or is not my life. Is it? this is your life. So oh. the thing is, why are you single? Let's go ahead and start with that. Why are you single? Oh, I'm not single though. You're a single mother. Oh, oh, that's right. Uh, There's no way you're because, single. I cannot believe yeah. This. No, yep. Uh, that's because I'm single because I argue a lot. Well, I can tell. Black women are the most argumentative uh, women ever. You know, on on the face of earth, on the face of this earth. Why are you so combative and not submissive and um, breedable or whatever Kevin Sanders would say? What was it? Um, it was something like that, right? Uh, what were you say? I don't know. What I, it was. I'm not familiar with Kevin Samuels, to Why? be honest. He's he's my mentor. I'm his protege. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. What happened to your protege? I'm the protege. Or uh, I am sorry. What happened to your mentor? You are correct. Rest in hell to him. Ah. It is what it is. Don't say that. Things happen. Everything happens for a reason. Don't say that. So how long have you been single? <laughs> Uh, three years. Mm. Have been able. To, have you been looking for a high value man? Is that what's keeping you single? Unrealistic standards. Yes, I am looking for a high value man. He has to make at least three hundred thousand a year. Ooh, Lord. Okay. Where do you live at? I live in Arizona. Who's making three hundred thousand dollars in Arizona? There are quite a few men that make that much in Arizona and you couldn't get a single one of them wow <laughs> I walked into that one you walked into that one while all your fathers walked all of the fathers of them children walked right out you know what I'm saying so sucks doesn't it I know I know but um yeah <clears throat> so the thing is look this is, what, this is what you have to do you have to improve yourself to be able to get this okay. high value mail that you're seeking because they're not going to go after a 45 year old with three kids by four different it's men. four it's four kids four kids by five different men i apologize <clears throat> it's just... by three different men i apologize yet again i think i just assumed because of your race um i just may have assumed that because of your race understandable so um so as far as face reveals you've revealed your face yes i did are you proud of yourself for revealing your face? Yes. I wish I was watching the chat so I could see these. Uh, there's a couple people in there that I hope that they are happy that I revealed my face so that they can call me whatever they want now. They probably still going to call you a nigga. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, your chat I, is I, a little I'll interesting. Ask, I'll ask the chat right now. Hey, right, chat, what are y'all going to call her from now on? <clears throat> mm. MMA fan said LCX gonna call you a nigga. He the white dude. So yeah. yeah, everybody I, said they gonna still call you a nigga. So, somebody said grandma, but mostly niggas. So a grandma is fine. They said what faction uh are you are you in? What does that mean? Hello? So, nah, actually, I made this new faction. You can join this one that's right there. Don't ever disrespect me like that again. Don't ever come in here and disrespect me like that again. <clears throat> I cannot believe that. The fact that you even thought that you could come in here and disrespect me that way is crazy. All right, hold on. That, that's crazy. The, the fact you thought you could disrespect me. Juice! Well, hold on. So you're not the juice from the chat earlier, huh? If you if you, if you you choose to talk on mute, that's on you. But just to let you know, I can't hear you. If I were you out of mute. Sorry. That's all right. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. I was doing a lot better before you got on camera. But, um... <laughs> <clears throat> that's why all right so you know how we do this <clears throat> okay. actually i'm new here but okay okay so height and weight 
Just go ahead. No, I'm asking you. What is your height and weight? Height, I'm 4'11". Weight, I am 240. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cornbread fed. Yes. <clears throat> did you just name an area code? What the fuck did you just say? What the, what the fuck did you just say to me? I said 240. I asked for your weight, not your weight and the person next to you. How much do you fucking weigh? You said what? Okay. 240 pounds. God damn, look at them titties. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Cornbread fed. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Dress size? Hmm? Dress size? Um, he said zoom out. That's funny. Yeah, there are. Dress size? There's a lot of people that may want to see uh those big oh, ass goddamn titties, titties, nigga. They're um, there. God damn! They're there. <clears throat> they're there. Could you drum them? Like, could you, could you like juggle them real quick for us? I mean, it's a little I, bit. I was just, I didn't, I, I wasn't being serious because I have no pants on. Please, can we just uh not do that? <laughs> No. So, so yeah, um, all right. Um now rate yourself on a scale from one to ten, you can't use seven. I I'm okay with a six. You're okay with a six. I'm okay with the six. That's not what I'm okay there's with. There's always so, room with there's always room for improvement with that everyone. That's very true. There's always room from the titties. Them titties. You're definitely correct. All right, so bra size. <laughs> Uh, 42 double D. I didn't expect you to actually tell me that. Wow. Thank I'm you. an open book. I'm not ashamed of anything. <laughs> I hope open legs come with that open book. <clears throat> mm. Keep going. Okay. All right. Keep going. Okay. Um. All right. So, what brings you here? Um, I got a sub. Thank you, Apple Pie. Um, I watch you all the time anyway, but uh, I don't know. I just, I sold one month before, but it ran out. So whatever, through Prime. Didn't have that but, 5 99 huh? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, through Prime. I pay Prime and Prime give me, you know, anyway. So I'm here because I just wanted to be a part of this. Well, I appreciate you coming. Mm-hmm. Why did you say mm-hmm like that? And then I'm waiting for you to tear me up like you did, oh girl. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, tear you up. Yeah. What are we talking here? I thought we was. I, I look. Okay. What do you got for me? That's the main thing, because obviously you're, you know, a single mother. You're black, so that's one thing. Oh. No. So, but how is it being a single mother? Hmm. A single mother. Well, I'm a single mother of one. Oh, not wow. four. Okay. Why did the father leave? Uh, he didn't leave. He was broken up with and sent to his mama. I bet that so. was a blessing for him. Because uh, like <laughs> the, my children upstairs, you know, $900 couldn't get rid of them. So, you know, probably was a blessing. For him. Do you feel like it empowers you to be a single mother? Ain't nothing wrong with being a single mom. Oh, wow. So we can have sex. <clears throat> raw sex. Mm, if, there's not raw. Nothing, if there's nothing wrong with being a single mother. <clears throat> no. There's nothing wrong with having a child, pushing a nigga out your life and just taking care of the kid. There ain't nothing wrong well, with that. Well, pushing a nigga out your life, of course. But pushing a man out of your life wouldn't be the best idea. Now, would you agree or disagree? A bad one, yeah. Nah, I said a nigga, and of course, that's what you pushed out of your life, but you wouldn't have pushed a man out <laughs> because a man would not allow you to push him out of his child's life. True. No, he's in his child's life. He's just not in my life romantically. Okay, okay. But he lives with his mother. Well, I will uh... At 38 years old, he lives with his mother. Not 38, 33, but still bad. Hey, yo, 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 chill, chill. Still chill. bad, still I, I bad. I'm, I'm like, 26. I'm 26, so I'm still, you know. I got my own crib. I work, I go to school, and take care of my kids, so. 
Did he ever finesse you for the tax money? No, I let him file, but I shouldn't have did that. But that's fine. I wish I had a baby mom like this. Do y'all see how how glorious yeah. she have it? Oh my god! The fact that she she said she was comfortable being a single mother. That's all I needed. Like <laughs> that's really all I needed. Why couldn't I? Have, no. Why could this have been my I baby mom? I want it done. I want it done. No what work am I doing kids. right? What am I doing? No right? work kids. No work kids. No, no more kids. So you got the. No. Uh, so so you got the. Uh, you had a vasectomy. Hell no! I got the birth control in my arm. Good for four years, yes, sir. Are you familiar with what a vasectomy is? It's for men. I know that. That's why I said no. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you your pronouns again. What are your pronouns? <clears throat> she, her. I guess I don't you really guess. fuck with all that. You I'm guess. a woman. You was born with it, huh? W born with it for being a born good sport. Mm -hmm. You're soaking wet, don't it? It'd be squirting and farting. Squirting and farting. Squirting and farting. Oh, my God. You can't say that. You're not supposed to agree with me. Oh, my God. You're not supposed to agree with me. You are not supposed to agree with me. Oh, Lord. All right. So, <laughs> how's life for you, though? Life is good. Plan on getting yourself a high-value man? Um, I'm going to wait for him squirting to find me. Farting. I'm not going to go looking for it. Why would you not go looking for it? What makes you think a high value man is just going to run into you and say, you know what, I found you? Because I think that's how, like, destiny works. I'm not into, like, okay, some women, like, okay, go get dressed up and go to this bar, go to this club, you're going to meet this man, or go here, go there. I'm not going to do that. If I'm out and if I just meet a man and he on his shit, like, I'm on my shit, then we good. You think that's how it works? Have you ever dealt with a high value male? No, because exactly. I've so only been with two. So, so you no, have no I clue don't. how it actually works. A woman with a body count of two is perfect for a high value male. There's, there's a lot of men definitely a deal with that. But you have no clue how to meet them. You don't even know yet. Yet you're going with what you think. Yeah. Constant shrimp scampi strokes. Get out there and find them. Mm, okay. Mm, we'll see. Yeah, I got a summer to. A summer? You think that's. I got a summer to drop summer? a couple. Drop a couple pounds <laughs> out of that 240? Is that what you're you about to say? Because I know them titties weigh about 30 pounds a piece. Hey, you got a smooth weigh, 60 sitting much. up there. They weigh that much. They weigh have that you, much. Have you ever dropped them on a scale just to see like how much they weighed? No, but I just slapped a couple niggas with them, so. Sorry. <laughs> okay. You know how I value me? Clementine said slap Probably going to kick you a good-ass meal. Sure can. Yeah, Clementine said slap him. So. Mm. Oh. Yeah, he said slap him. All right. Okay. Well, um, it was good talking to you. You too. Yeah, if you want to happy birthday or related. Thank you. You should slap me with the titties. <laughs> just one. Just one. Like just hang well, over just my come head. Here. Just I got you. If you dropped it right there on my forehead, I got a landing pad right there. Like you saw how big this one. I got you. Drop I got it you. Right there. This right. one can do it. The both of them will knock you out. I gotta do one at a time. I understand. Which one is bigger? Because every time girls had them hit huge titties, one is always bigger. I think my right one for sure. That's the one I need dropped on this landing pad right there. I got you. I All got right. you. Well, it was good talking to you. <laughs> okay. All right, you enjoy your day. You too, bye. All right. Now you see how whenever you respect me, I respect you. Do y'all see this? Everybody always says. Kevin Samuels, Daquan Samuels, you don't like black women. Do y'all see this? As long as you respect me, I'm always going to respect you. Do you see this? Bro, I will always respect my black queens. How the hell do I get this? Bro, how, uh, how do you move up? Hold on. I don't know how to fuck to move the nigga up. All right, I can't move the nigga up, so. All right, let's see what we got next. All right, this is not icy. All right. Am I getting on camera? 
All right, so this is an ice and this is muted. I'm at work, okay? <laughs> Yet you chose to get on here. Because I'm literally, I have nothing to do with my last hour, so. All right, so. How are you? you? I'm doing very good. How about yourself? Chilling, chilling. All right. Happy. All right, that's good. What are, what are you happy? What are you happy about? Um, I learned a whole bunch of shit today on how to like sell memberships to people and I almost sold one and I got an appointment for tomorrow. So I'm just, I'm happy that I'm getting this job together. Memberships, uh, for, for, um, what? LA fitness. Wow. Well, that's I a lot of fat fitness. motherfuckers in this chat that could use that. I mean, Hey, they could sign up. They could use my QR code. So, okay. And what's that, uh, what's, <laughs> that, what's that QR code? The QR code is um, basically a link that you could join and you could have your membership. You could be in any state um, and go to any LA fitness that's next to you all and you get that shit started. If you wanna, you know, right. live a healthy life. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and start it off. Height and weight. Height and weight. Five, seven and 146 pounds. How much do your titties weigh? I'm sorry. Um, well, if, if you They're 38 C. They're 38 C. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, can I see that 38? What? Well, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, all right. <clears throat> now, I'm going to need you to rate yourself on a scale from 1 to 10. You can't use 7. Okay. Preferably no makeup. I'm a 4. And then when I get myself together, I'm a 6. Okay. Oh, Wow. Wow. Okay. Seems like everybody else started high. Went from low to high. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. So, since you're realistic, what you got for me today? That what? Since you were realistic, what you got for me today? What do I have for you today? Hmm. <laughs> I, I hear that you um I hear that that you work on um there's a podcast I think it's called um Fresh and Fit correct if I'm not mistaken yes yeah I'm mentor, nobody special, but I work there yes I my, do my mentor had some issues with those those two individuals um when uh, he was still alive rest in hell to him but um he had some issues with those guys I don't I don't really uh, associate with those two because they you know my mentor. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't like them. So I don't really associate those two. But how is it working for them? How is it working? It's very uh, misogynistic. Now, let me stop. <laughs> I love it. I'd agree. You agree? Why do you love um, it? Are you, are you a misogynist yourself? I think I became one, yes. Wow. And what made yes. You, what made you a misogynist? The amount of stupid shit bitches say. Wow, bitches. Ooh, not even women. Bitches. Bitches. Oh. Okay. Just bitch. All right. Well, let's it's go ahead. sad. It's just how can I say this? What last panel? It was like four OnlyFans bitches and one stripper, and they just can't grasp the concept of like they're me. eighteen years old starting this shit. Like, what are you doing? You fucking up your life. Yeah. As soon as they start off, they um they fail themselves. So. Crazy. Understand. All right. OnlyFans. Oh, I have a question for you. Boom. Uh, I have. An answer for you. Don't ever interrupt me. Don't overtalk me. Now, go ahead. What is your question? My question is, how would you feel if you was to see a family relative that is of the age of 18 starting an OnlyFans or being at the strip club? What would they Daquan do? Well, Daquan Samuels. Sorry, let me get it right. As far as, like relative as far as like not my child right fuck him or maybe i don't know i just want to know what would fuck be your him. opinion i don't give a fuck fuck them niggas they ain't, they ain't my family i don't give a fuck fuck them they do whatever the fuck they want I don't, I don't give a fuck as long as my daughter as long as my daughter knows damn well that ain't gonna be her life i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck if i walk in there and see my aunt in there i'm like bitch if you don't put them long ass titties up if i walk inside the strip club bitch you don't put them long motherfuckers up the hell are you doing? You know what I'm saying? My, my fat ass aunt wilding like that bitch. Go get your fat ass off the goddamn stage. And then if I scroll through Twitter 
See one of them bitches. Yo, hey yo, I'm gonna report it. That's it. Just gonna report it from multiple accounts. All right, all right, and you got the community to back you up too. So I, I, I see that. I see that. Yeah, I got the LGBT okay. to back me up. All right, all right. So any questions? Let's, let's go and reverse that question. How would you feel in that situation? How would I feel? Yes. I believe um, I'm a very aggressive individual when it comes down to things that I love. So if it's actually somebody I care for and I see them doing that, um, if I go to a strip club and I see somebody that I know, I'm automatically like ripping them off the pole. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, get dressed and come talk to me outside because I need to check you. Mm -hmm. Um that's pretty much it. Other than that, if I don't give a fuck about you, I go make your money. Well, as far as checking them, what makes you think they're going to listen to you? You know, 90 times they won't, but sometimes we need that check in reality. And then later on, they'll listen to those. Yeah, muted. It's still muted. Tribulations type of thing. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Sorry, somebody just called me. But um, it's just basically like whatever trials and tribulations life puts them through. They'll probably remember me saying what I said. And then, you know, they'll listen at that point. Probably it'll be too late. But hey, at least the message was sent. Well, the thing is, right? So there's certain 18-year-olds and um, yeah, 18 to like 21-year-old girls that are making a lot of money on OnlyFans and a lot of money in the strip clubs. You know, then people are getting their bodies done just to go do this at the same time, too. Definitely if they made that investment. Imagine one of your family members made that investment into their bodies just to go to a strip club. And they were making thousands of dollars every weekend. What would make you think that your words are going to convince that individual to stop? Once life hits them, I, I mean, it's not going to make them stop. The only way they're going to stop is when they hit the wall. So the moment yeah, they hit the was. epiphany phase, they're just going to they're going to realize what I said was right. And then that's when usually people turn around. Well, if you turn like around, I, said, I can hit the, I can hit the walls. Huh? I'm sorry, continue. You want to hit my walls? No, 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 I didn't say, no, no, no. I was yes. saying about the people hitting walls. No, I'm okay. saying, no, I was just, yeah, sorry. Continue. Okay. okay. Basically the epiphany phase. Okay. A lot of women go through it like around, like I'll say 28, 29. Because imagine if you're going to be stripping for like 10 years, you're going to think back and be like, damn, I wasted 10 years of my life just shaking my ass. Even if you made thousands of dollars, like it doesn't, there is no success with that. If you ain't do nothing with it, if you ain't invest yourself into other things that will make you more money. But if you consistently stayed in the strip club, that's just going to hit. Definitely. Yeah, I know a few uh, OnlyFans girls that got in and got their money out I mean, got their money and then got out immediately. They made millions and then just got out. It was like, damn, like, okay. Well, millions, millions, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a whole different, you know, type of bracket. So it's like, I can understand that. But it's like at the same time, it's yeah. like when you do it at 18 years old, it's like you didn't give anything else a chance. You didn't. You didn't even give a, a office job a chance. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. I like your question. That was actually a really good question. So how, do you, so how do you feel, for working for Fresh and Fit, how do you feel about modern women? Do you feel like they have unrealistic expectations? Yes. And standards and preferences. Very. I believe um, a lot of modern women, they ask for a lot, and they can't even provide the value that a man needs. Like, they would stress that man out, or they'll take all his money and... Like they, there. A lot of women are in it for the wrong reasons. Honestly speaking, like they don't care for the partnership. They just care for themselves. Very selfish. Like I, I've seen these traits in women, and it's it's pretty sad. Honestly, like it, it makes you feel sad about women. Like why are you like this? Don't be like this. Be better. You yourself. Uh, would you like to date a high value man? <laughs> why do that in the first place the thing is it's a yes or no question why are you iffy about it when is that something that you would you like a man that would provide for you yes protect you yes instill wisdom upon you of course be able to lead and guide I need that, I need that yes alright does that not sound like a high value individual to you of course it is I just made the face just you know just to make faces. But yes, I do want to have a 
Yeah, see? So, and do you think you have unrealistic expectations? Do I have unrealistic expectations? No. Okay. No, that's good. I don't, I, don't, I don't sit here and just, no. I deserve everything that I work for, so. That's very good. I'm happy for you. Right. Pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm happy for you. So, I'm, I'm not about to. I'm not about. You no, know, you don't have to. I, I, I could be gay. I could be gay. You uh, don't. Yeah, you don't yeah, gotta do yeah. it. I'm not, you, you see, I'm, I'm too high value for that. Yeah, obviously, you know. Yeah. You see the suit. <laughs> Belly that real quick. This is, you know what? You see the watch. You see the watch. You know what I'm saying. Thirteen million dollars. Thirteen million. Thirteen. Million. Heard you. So. Facts. Well, it was very good talking to you. Very nice talking to you, and happy birthday again. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, you have yourself a wonderful day at work. You too. Well, bye. You. All right. Bye. It was a good conversation. All right. I'm just going to go from the top now. <laughs>